Hello, welcome to my channel. I'm Gina and tonight I'm going to be working on a layout. Well, I guess it's tonight for me. <laughs> uh, the lay, the, let me start over with my words, sorry. I'm doing a challenge at a cherry on top and this challenge is the My Mood Challenge and you need to use six tags somewhere on your layout. I haven't got a clue where that's going to be, but we're going to try it. So I pulled out these little pictures of my newest grandbaby. And in her little sleeper, you can probably tell on this one with the little feet, but she's got, there's llamas. It's a little llama sleeper. So I have cut this llama paper piecing. This is a pattern from Little Scraps of Heaven Designs.com. And it is called Winter Llama. The other thing that I have done is cut down this paper. It kind of looks like a blanket. It's from, let me grab the paper pad. It's called Baby Girl and it's from Michaels. It's got really cute papers but then there's a lot I'm having trouble using and I bought it because of one paper, that one. I love that paper and then so now I'm having a hard time using it. So I have some bunny pictures to do soon, so I won't have trouble there. Anyway, so kind of what I was thinking was put these here and I want to put a strip of paper all the way across and then this little guy will go here. And oh that's starting to bleed. Oops. Um I thought I'd try to get this paper there behind behind this because it looks so good on it. But I think I'm going to use this cute little mushroom paper to go across there. So I will need to cut it at six and a half, I think. So let me get my trimmer over here. My fan isn't bothering you. I went from heater to fan, it seems. I'm not going to be air conditioned before long. Okay, and now I've got the other paper at 11 and a half is where I cut it down to. So I'm going to cut that strip off there. I really don't know how I'm going to do the tags. <laughs> Thought, well, if I give up. I'm gonna think of it. Let me make sure this is right before I think it. Yes, and not very much of it's gonna show. I should have done strips above and below, but oh well. This is perfect example of these pictures. They don't cut the edges straight. I don't know what is going on. I don't know why. Up. I am using Rose Romance from Stampin' Up to ink tonight. I wanted something different than the usual gray, black, brown. And I have a blue over there too. For, I was going to ink around this one. I need to show you which paper I cut apart for that too. paper behind here. I gutted it. This is the paper that it was. Yeah. Oh, I want to make a tag out of that, I think. 
so that's why I did that. Otherwise, I wouldn't have. But that's good paper. There's not a lot of darker colors in here. It's all kind of white on white, except for a few. And they seem to be designed like this, so I don't know. Okay. So now I don't know if I need that around there because I really like the mushrooms, so I think I'm going to leave that like that and figure out um, tags. I guess I could put him on a tag. That would take care of one tag. Let's do that. So, I'm trying to decide. Oh, let me just draw. Oh, okay. Find my. Oh. This thing gets heavier and heavier all the time. Actually, I think what I'm looking for is in my little drawers. my keyboard. There we go. It's just a little exacto knife that rotates and I am going to roughly cut this out. I think. I'm thinking on it. Yeah, because I'll just use, I'll cut up the outside to use. I don't know how I'm going to get a straight piece of paper out of this. I guess I should cut one and then trace it. Once I have one in my little tag tin that will fit. Let's see. And then I can trace it out. Those will be there. So he's right here in this little space. Um, that's too tall, but otherwise. I think it's two. Well, I was hoping I would have one in here. Oh, what about that one? That's pretty close. If I make it just a little bit longer than that, I think that would work. Let's see about this one. That's a little bit wider. I think. Got this one in here. Mm. I think I like the little bit wider. Alright, so I'll put these in here. Something is catching on something and it's not going back in there. I didn't get them all put away, did I? Okay, so I'm going to take this and turn it over here. My pencil. <coughs> Excuse me. One tag figured out. Five more to go.
to the side so I can put those back away. Turn it down out again. It would be cute to have the mushrooms as the little hole reinforcers, so we'll do that. you really can't tell. I haven't emptied that for a while. It didn't push very well. <laughs> it is plump full. There. Next time it'll work better. Alright, let's put this on here. <coughs> I guess I'll use my pink on this. I didn't think about that when I chose these two colors for outlining. Oh, that's going to be fine. leave that down. I'm going to be using that again. Okay, so we have these two here and we have this here. I'll have to put something through there, but I don't want to drag something out and then decide to go with something totally different. Now, I had thought about hanging some tags down and then a couple of tags coming up. Maybe I'll do three coming down and two coming up. But I don't have a clue what I'm going to put on those. I guess I should have figured that out before I turned this on, huh? That's like me lately. <laughs> so I'll think about that in a bit. <laughs> so, oops, that's not going to work. I'm going to have to use this big trimmer for these tags. Again. I'll do this one at three. Um, that's going to look funny coming down from there, but I'm going to do it anyway. I'm just going to put it at four. It's not going to be near that when I'm done, but that's okay. Um, and I have this flower paper. It at three also. And I have this that I thought about cutting into a tag. And I think I will cut it at two and three quarters. There we go. Again. I was going to cut this, and that's the back of that. I would rather have that. Now, I've got these little frames, and I thought I would cut the inside of those out. Um, probably this one. What do I have here? There's this one and this one. Or maybe the stripe. Let's do the stripe. long for my trimmer. Alright, now it will fit better. Oh shoot! Well, I won't be using that frame for something else.
cut it through like three times now. I just did it again. Okay, this will work. thinking that this might be pretty along the edge of that um, thing, the center of paper. So I'm going to cut that out and see what we think. I've got another one, another paper of this, so I could get it out if we end up liking it. Or if I end up liking it. I wish I could be a wee and you could tell me no. <laughs> I apologize again for my chair. I just asked my hubby right before I turned this on and got home from work. And I said, can you fix that squeaky? And he said he could. So, yeah, I like that a lot. Let me get that other one out. Gold paper everywhere. See, look at that little buddy butt. I just, I had to have that. Somewhere in here. Those are cute too, but I like the one that I cut. I didn't see that one. That was pretty. There we go. trimmer up. other one that I have set out. This is Tempting Turquoise. I get one of my other ones. I need to put these little ink pads on my shopping list for tomorrow. Gotta to go out of town for a doctor appointment. I need blade refills, so I'll be going. I'm hoping I'll find them at Joanne's because I can use a coupon there for the blade refills. I don't know if my the Joanne's where we're going is pitiful. It is absolutely pitiful. I just realized I need to cut these down to 11 and a half. Okay. Back with the trimmer. forgot about that hole. Turn that over and I thought, what on earth? <laughs> okay. So. I think I want to just flower there. Oh, 
my hand keeps knocking it as I try to I've got I shouldn't have glued the other end and my hand keeps sticking to it my videos seem to be a don't do this video <laughs> luckily that came off pretty good there I think I turned it the wrong way there we go I don't know, maybe I did, maybe I didn't. There we go. And to do this one. I think they're just a tad bit too long. No idea why, but both of them are. Okay. I don't have a clue where I put all the pieces I just cut. Okay, now I think. Okay, so that's going to go there, that's going to go there. There's one of the tags I cut. I don't know what I did. Here they are. Okay. So, if I put one down here and then maybe this one over it and that one over both and then perhaps this one and this one or maybe okay just cut them I kind of think they need to be a little bit skinnier I'm not liking that width on them so I'm gonna take Two and three quarters. I'm gonna cut this one at two and a half. Yeah. And then two and three quarters for this one. Okay. And we'll leave that with that. Okay. So now. trying to decide if it's worth trying to get my tag punch which is underneath the desk. I did that on a video this afternoon and totally unplugged my um, monitor. I'm going to try it again. I'll be right back. so good. <laughs> this squeaky chair. <laughs> Oops, that might must not be quite two and a half because it won't fit in there. User error. <laughs> I didn't have it back far enough. Alright, there's that one. And then I want to do this one. That one's a little bit bigger than two and a half also. I think it's 
this one. Okay. So now they're all just a little bit different. Oh, this chair. Okay, so I need to ink the blue ones. And then I'll do the pink one. <coughs> Excuse me. My time air's coming in. Allergies. Alright. Oh, I forgot about the daisy. I think the daisy will. The daisy's going up there. I think I will cut it down to two inches and put it through my little tag punch too. So that looks skinny. <laughs> okay, there we go. That way it's just a little bit different. you all have been having a good day. I made a video this morning and then I thought my grandkids would probably be coming but they didn't. So then I cleaned both of our refrigerators and our freezer. Both refrigerator freezer. We had, I don't know what happened but the freezer that's on our back porch, the um, door to the freezer got left just a jar and I had some strawberry ice cream things in one of the the door drawers on the door and they burst and they, they oh it was such a sticky awful mess and it went all down through the freezer it was awful <laughs> it really was did not enjoy getting it cleaned up. <laughs> I don't know. I don't think I'm going to have room down here for any tags because I've got to move this down. So now I'm not real sure what I'm doing. <laughs> just not sure. Am I just going to shove them all up here and that's going to look really not very good, I don't think. There's two of them, or three of them. Can I put one more on there? Why not? <laughs> oh yeah, here's this one. This looks kind of... Uh, maybe this one can pop up from here. I don't know. This one can go down here. Right here. That one can go right there. Maybe I've been looking at this wrong. Let's see if I can get this one. Yeah, this will work. We're going to do this. I'll put that one there, like that. That can hold some journaling. Not much. I don't put very much on the front, but... I've had questions about that, and I just don't... I don't want a lot of um, stuff out there. Uh, I think... That is throwing me off being curved. Let's try see what happens when I do this. like that and then have that coming down. I guess it could go right in there. I don't think it would look... No, I like it better like this. Let me ink that up. I'm trying to decide. See, I like just the two there. But I don't... I don't know if I could get... 
mean, it just said tags. It didn't say how much of them had to show. So maybe something like that. I'll poke a hole in there and put a reinforcer on it. I like this better. Okay, so now we got to punch all these reinforcers and figure out what I'm going to have on them all. So I've got one, two, three, four, five, six. All right. I'll put the daisies on one of them. Let's see if I can get it out of this. I really hate that you can't see what you're doing. I have a whole reinforcer die, but that's kind of a pain to get out right now. Which one of these? I cut one of these. There it is. I'm going to use this sparkly pink. Cut it. Might as well. Does that one look? Okay, so I think this one will go on here. And this one will go on here. Then I need some blue down there. So I am going to try to get a variation in it down here. Oh good, I got it all. I'm going to put this one right there. Flower. So maybe I'll just punch this one. I like all those. Okay. Oh, I don't have one on that one yet. How did I miss that? Mm -hmm. Do I want? Don't know about the mushrooms. Don't know how to do that. Well, oh, I had this so sweet I was going to put on here somewhere. I forgot about it. Maybe I'll use some of the speckle that's in between all this stuff. If I can figure out a spot where I can do it. Possibly. That's not going to work. That right there. Got it. Yep, I like that. Although, that's two pinks right next to each other, isn't it? Here's what I'm going to do, y'all. I'm going to punch one out of this. So it's going to be hid up in there. Never know. That will look better up there. So then would I rather have a pink on here? I think I would. I think that looks better than the blue. Alright, so now I'm going to glue all these down. throw everything from the freezer on our porch out. So that was kind of depressing. So thankfully tomorrow we can go get some replacement. There wasn't a lot of meat in that one, thank goodness. It was just ice cream, stuff like that. Stuff that made a big mess.
I think this is going to turn out better than I was envisioning. I thought, boy, six tags on one layout. Wow. <laughs> okay. There it is. I know. I knew we laid that. I left that out there. Oops, that one's not staying on. I doing? These two up here and these down here. Okay. And then that's going to go somewhere. And I don't know what else is going to go on there. So I think I need to decide where I'm going to attach this and attach it everywhere but here. I mean here. <laughs> don't attach here. And I will do that. those two together. Make sure that they're going to stay where I need them to. <coughs> okay, so then under here, this one, where are my little Gonna put any adhesive at the bottom because we still have to figure out what is gonna hang from them. I guess I could chop a little bit the stripe off if I have it for another project. It may be a whole reinforcement on something else. Because I feel like I did something different here. I don't know what I did different, but I feel like something is different. <laughs> and I feel like I like that better now, like that, so. I don't know when I can change my mind, right? <laughs> This is going to go like this and like this. Yep, I like. Put that there. And then this one, i got to turn this around so I can, yeah, I didn't get this one quite straight. I have a hard time seeing it from down here. <laughs> and that one right there. So let's get these down. Try to decide. Yeah, this one's first. 
This one open too, so we can figure out what's going to go in there. I think I'll probably get my seam binding out. Let's see if we can find something. That looks crooked to me. I have to fix that right this second. Okay, that's better. very far for you. This little llama was so cute to put together. I'm going to be using this one a lot. Oh, I glued that down already, didn't I? It's so cute. I wonder how my so sweet on there. That looks really cute, but then I'm but it doesn't work up there. So, yep, that's where So Sweet's going to go. Well, we'll get that down there before that glue dries, and I can slip it down under there. Well, now, a minute ago, I thought that looked so cute. Why can't I quite get it right now? I'm not liking that little hole there. Well, I gotta stick it down here because I've already got the glue all over. So I've got to make it work. Get a little bit of extra glue here. Probably because I messed around with it for so long. Okay. I just don't know what else I can put on these because swans and bunnies don't work. I've already done the mushroom thing. Hmm. Well. Let's worry about the tags. Let me grab my drawer that's got all that in it. stickers real quick too. about every color. It's not wrinkled up though. I do have some wrinkled. Let me grab that and see if any of that will work. I think it's probably all the wrong colors. Oh, that's not it. What did I do? Oh, one more tin. I had more tins stacked on each other than I knew. Oh, well, that's a Nice surprise. I thought it was all dark like this in here. Well, one of these will definitely work, if not a couple. I'm 
do that. I've got myself to where I just don't have much room. Um, let's see about this one. Let's see, the thing about this one is there's so many colors in it that I might be able to make it work for more than one. The problem is, is I don't... Well, hello, I'm back. <laughs> I'm sorry about that. My camera shut off. It was my own fault. I forgot to delete my last video. So what you missed is I cut some out of this one and I made a little bow um, using my little thing on my trimmer. And then this one I just cut here. So now I need to come up with something for these three and something to put there. <coughs> Excuse me. So... I pulled this one out <clears throat> and I was had asked, oh that has some Aurora if anybody knows what Etsy shop that is, can you let me know? My friend gave me these. It says Aurora B I'm not sure. I'll have to Maybe it's Aurora Borealis. Oh, but that's the color. That's not going to help me. <laughs> I keep wondering where the, these were ordered from. <coughs> My friend doesn't know because she didn't order them herself. So um, I was thinking this pretty blue. know if there's enough there. I am going to find out. Can't get it to go through there. No, nope, that's not going to be enough. Let me see what I have in my seam binding. Oh, boy, it all came apart when I pulled it out of there. Oh, look at that. That doesn't match. <coughs> Excuse me, I'm so sorry. It's later in the evening. That one, I think, looks pretty good. I hope it's not one of those ones I don't like. No, it's not. There's these ones. They're on this one that fell apart. And they have these little lines here on them. And I think they're like iron-on for something. I don't understand how they work. Okay, I'm just going to push that through like that and then I'll straighten it all out when I get it through there. Boy, this is thicker than the stuff that I was using from that other stuff. This is old. I don't know if the other stuff is old. I've been collecting seam binding for longer than I have been scrapbooking, I think. <laughs> I don't know why. I've just collected sewing, old sewing supplies for a long time, and for some reason, seam binding was my favorite. So when I would buy a sewing basket or something at an auction, back then I could get them pretty cheap. Everybody wasn't wanting them. <laughs> and nobody wanted those. So I could get a whole sewing box, box for a dollar. Not anymore. <laughs> okay, I've got pink here. I've got this pink. Which really isn't terrible. Let me see what else I have here. I don't know if you saw this. This is my little basket. I keep it all in. Here's these pinks. So I've got that pink and that one. That's a little bit lighter. That's probably better. Yeah, I think we'll use this one. And then maybe I'll find something else in these to use. This one's really stiff too. I'm going to cut that end off. That didn't work so well for me doing that up there. The threads, I'm going to have to go trim those threads off after I turn off the camera. And so that's kind of a pain. You know what? We're going to cut, make that into a bow. 
everything up top. So here's what we do. This is really simple. Just take, let me see, I don't think I have you. I don't know if I can get you where you can see me. Darn. It's stuck up here at my desk. Got all my glues up there. Okay, now you can see I'll use these two down here. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So, you take your um, ribbon or whatever and you put this side over. The right side goes over and under the left side through the little pins. And I make it look more difficult than it is just because my thumbs aren't working right. Then you bring it through and you tie it. like that. hope I got myself enough in there to tie it again. <laughs> Cut it. Well, I don't want to do that either. I got enough. There we go. And then I just take the pins out. Be careful if you get this and you're putting these pins back because after a while they start sliding out of there. They get looser and so you pick up your, they're not sliding out now, but you pick your trim up to move it and they slide right out. So I don't know what happens if you lose them. I don't know how you would get more. I don't know if rare memory keepers would offer them or you'd just have to buy a whole new thing. Probably a whole new thing. Glue here. I don't know why I just did that that way. I hope I can <laughs> cover up all that glue. Boy, it's getting late at night. I guess I'm getting tired. I'm doing stupid stuff. Set that on there. Now I just need to do one more, don't I? Let me put this back. I really like having this all organized. It took me, seemed like a whole week to do this. I wasn't, but it felt like it. But I was sure glad when I got it done. I really like it. Okay, let's see what else we got here in these. So this one, I like the blue, this blue right here. Well, here, I can cut it right here. Probably right there. Oh, my hands. I'm so sorry. I'm so slow at this. I just hurt. Alright, now I look at my stickers and I did not come up with much. I don't buy a lot of that kind of thing. I never thought to look in my die cuts. I don't know if I would have anything. I don't know. But I did come across this. I couldn't tell you anything about this. Maybe Michael's. And that looks good there, I think. I don't like the bird, but then I thought I could cover the bird with that. But then I got that little red one there, and I don't know what to do with that. But I do like that. So I think I'll do that. I don't know with one of these. I don't know, that might be too much gold. This is kind of a different gold. Yeah, no, I don't like that. 
it has to be like a cross stitch on there to cover that heart. But now I can't get it off. Okay. <laughs> Don't like that. Okay, so. Um, my bling. Let's get out my bling. not the right color. Now, these, oh, these are the perfect color right here. It's just way too big though, but I will use those somewhere on here. Maybe down here. But they're too big, darn it. They're the perfect color. Okay, what else is in here? little hearts. I don't know how that would look. Well, it looks better than that red heart. Oh, well, it doesn't cover it right. Can you hear the frustration in my voice? Teeny tiny. Oh, that works. And then there's a gold heart. I wondered about sticking that right there. Or maybe about just the white heart. It looks pink on here. That looks cute. Okay, that's what we're going to do because I'm tired of messing with it. There we go. I think the ones down here I'm just going to leave like they are. I'm going to put the date here but I don't know it. <laughs> Every video I tell you I'm going to know the date before I do the next video. And here we are another video in and I don't know it. That's okay. It's going to go right there. I want to ink around the edge and then we'll be done. I hope it's still recording. Yes. It was my fault this time. The other times I couldn't figure it out but this time I had three videos on there and I knew before I did another one I needed to delete because my memory card in there is not that big and there's just no reason to have a big memory card because I just as soon as I make them I put them on my computer and then as soon as they're on YouTube I delete them I don't keep them I know that means my grandkids might not see them someday if YouTube goes away but I don't have enough storage room to worry about keeping all the videos. That would take the fun out of it because then I'd have to be buying memory cards all the time. Alright, there we go. So you can find this llama pattern at littlescrapsofheaven.designs.com and it is called Winter Llama. There's several llamas there. And then this challenge is for a cherry on top. So if you want to do any challenges, head on over there. If you see this before this weekend, today's April 28th, 2021, they are having a um, International Scrapbooking Day crop. And it was fun last year. I had so much fun. So I'm excited about it this year. I think it will be fun. So... I have to take time off in the afternoon, well probably morning, Saturday morning before it gets too warm. And my husband and I are putting a trampoline together. <laughs> you know I want the trampoline bad to get some energy out of those kids if I'm willing to go put that thing together. Especially on scrapbooking weekend. But 
figure. If I spend an hour or so. Oh, I didn't put anything in that one. That one needs a bow, doesn't it? And I think it needs the light pink one. Let's see. Oh, I don't know. That's too much pink. Um, do I have some white? White is always hard to find around here. Well, maybe he's just not going to get anything. I know I have some white. Just not finding it. Is this white? No. Okay, well, I'm not going to worry about it then. So, thank you for joining me. Have a great day. Bye. See you soon.